Hello. During the administration session for the ArcGIS API, I was asked a question about working with entitlements and how can we make that better. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and in order to work with our entitlements a little better, we're going to set up our environment just for display purposes. I'm going to import the display module from IPython. And I'm also going to go ahead and import pandas and then from ArcGIS.GIS import GIS. This will allow us to connect to our enterprise. So the goal here is that we're going to, for each entitlement, we're going to catalog the user that has been assigned. And the question specifically that we were asked was, do I have to par uh, parse through all my users to pull the entitlements? And uh, I misspoke during that session, so I wanted to correct it. The answer is no. So I'm going to go ahead and create my GIS. I'm going to connect to, in this case, ArcGIS Online to work with those entitlements. Now that I've connected, I'm going to access my license manager. I'm going to do GIS.admin. And then we get our license, which is, gives us a license manager. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get all the available licenses. So we're going to do license manager that all, and then I'll go ahead and create all the licenses that are available for my organization. And I'm going to gather them up into a list. So I'm going to loop through and say, hey, I want to get all the people that have been assigned this license. And then I'm going to enjoy, join each um, license because it's a, a list of items. Uh, let's say you want to do your advanced license for desktop. That's going to come back not just with uh, advanced desktop, it's going to come back with all the extensions associated with it. So we're just going to make that a comma separated list. And then some, if you go to the marketplace, you'll find that these licenses aren't always supported in order to see entitlements. So um, we're just going to skip those. I'm going to gather them up, all the gathered, and make it a data frame. Now I want to use pandas to make our data frame more visible. So I'm going to group by the username. So we're going to do group by equals pd.dataframe, that gathered, so I'm passing that list as my data, and then group by the column username. I want to fix up the last login by default last login if they've never a person's never logged in and has an entitlement will be negative one i'm going to go ahead and set that to none so it's easier to distinguish so it's a null value and then i'm going to convert the the, the um, millisecond value for last login to actual readable date so we can see that just for convenience you can go ahead and do that and then i'm going to explode out the data frame what what the explode's going to do is it's going to take the original data frame, copy it, where they're going to set the index, then take our entitlements, and we're going to split it by that comma separated value and expand it out. We're then going to push it back together, rename the column, and reset our column names. And now we have our exploded data frame. And the reason we did that is for each entry, for each user, they'll have an, an, just one entitlement in the entitlements column. Let's take a look at that. Now we can see how our, um, with the exploded value, we can now go ahead and we can look at our grouped data frame. So I'm going to do exploded DF and group by entitlements. And now I can go through each key and display out each grouping. And for each entitlement, you'll get a little pandas table like this. And we'll see username, the theme that they last logged in. If they checked it out, it's being disconnected. And then the entitlement that was assigned. So we can see uh, ArcGIS Python has the 3D analyst extension. And uh, John here also has the 3D analyst. But only two users have the business analyst extension. We have uh, one user has community uh, analyst extension and so on and so forth. So we can do that for every one, but we can also get some quick statistics about this. So if we want to see each user and the number of extensions they have, we can take advantage of group by again. So we explode the DF group by our username, and then we just get the count. And we can see that each user has that has at least one extension is listed in our output table. So I hope that helps you uh, understanding how you can work with um, entitlements and sort of get the information you need a little easier instead of going user by user.